Good morning, everyone. It's Terry Dwayne Ashford. We're coming in with you on March 1st, Monday morning at uh, Georgia Avenue location where we usually report. We're there this morning bringing you the street now news, getting your week started. Thank you so much for coming in with us here at Street Now News. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. I'm your JIC, journalist and chief broadcaster, and I am your in the car seat, that guy. Now he's with in the car, see that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. Now him, because you made me in the car, see that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. <laughs> Woo, treat now news. Thank you once again for joining us here at Street Now News. We're going to get your day started with some reports, hard news reports. Hard news reports that we refrain from reporting immediately for sake of ascertaining whether there was any harm done, harm to be done, harm that was in progress of being done, and etc. We refrain from reporting that particular time, but we did see and we did get the report, and it is all for you and for me too. You see, sometimes you can't tell immediately whether it is doing what you think you see or not. You're wondering your, yourself, is it really, really doing what I think it's doing? And that is what causes us to wait and see. We don't want to make any type of false allegations upon anyone. We want to make sure. Our allegations, and when we see something, we see what we see. There's no need of causing a fraud that's affecting people's lives. And I'd be doing what the others are doing. I'd be the criminal. I'm not the criminal. Another message that we send this morning in our reporting is keep your crimes to yourself. Not everybody's interested in your crimes. Keep your crimes to yourself if you want to stay safe. That's if you want to stay safe for Street Now News. Coming up next going to be the reports from last night. A man jumping over the fence in the middle of the night near the vicinity wearing the car seat. That guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford, saw it. And in, in addition to that, uh, we reporting this morning on a two-tone colored, brown colored Lexus, older mother Lexus that started at the uh, waking call. As soon as the eyes woke, it was there. It was there and it was passing on. And then we also have some reports at the location right at 7-Eleven at Geranium Street in Washington, D.C. All for you. This is reporting brought to you by Street Now News for Street Now News under that GTV, that guy television that media which is a remote lane company. I'm him in the car. See, I'm that guy, Terry Dwayne Ash. But coming up shortly, is that report for you?
Terry Dwayne Ashford reporting, 8.42 p.m. Sunday evening, currently at the Rock Creek Park on a Sunday evening at 5.20 uh, February the 28th. And uh, as we report and walk in the park, we find a the same Hispanic man that usually meets in the car seat, that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford, in the dark when jogging. He's now out here waiting. Looks like he's waiting for these particular reports came the evening, the night before March 1st, which was February the 28th, and moved into these particular reports leads us into the day on Monday, March 1st, 2021. Terry Dwayne Ashford reporting, 8.42 p.m. Sunday evening, currently at the Rock Creek Park on a Sunday evening at 5 20, uh, February the 28th. And uh, as we report and walk in the park, we find a the same Hispanic man that usually meets in the car seat, that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford, in the dark when jogging. He's now out here waiting. Looks like he's waiting for something we're simply reporting for you nothing has occurred the gentleman left the center area at the entrance point of the rock creek park 16th street and kennedy street northwest washington dc right there at the workout station is where the gentleman stood and waited for hours literally hours until in the car see that guy terry Dwayne ashford took a walk around the park. Once the in the car, see that guy Terry Dwayne Asher reached this particular location right here at the entrance point, which is appearing to be a workout location. That particular Hispanic or mulatto, or no, I'm not going to say mulatto. I'm going to call it. I think they call it mon mongloid type person. Mongloid type person defined um, comprises of the members of the middle group, the Asians, the um, the Latinos, has a certain level of melanin in their skin, but does not is not considered scientifically as negroid. Negroid, mongloid, and caucasoids are the three types of of people when we do not want to define their race or ethnicity. The type of person a mongloid is comprises of the Asians, the Hispanics, and the middle range group of people. What we found here at 8.42 p.m. was this mongloid type person waited at the Rock Creek Park right here at the workout area. And when Terry Dwayne Ashford walked around the park, arrived at that location, that mongloid person ran in front of him into the dark. I'm not sure if that's, uh, if that's a sign of anything or something is going on, but we are documenting it. The date is February 28th, Sunday evening, and the time at finishing this particular report is one hour past, one hour past, exactly one hour past the Hispanic reporting with the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police right up the street. For Street Now News, I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford, and that time is 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Street Now News, your Jick, your journalist and chief broadcaster in the car. See that guy all for you. I do want to thank you so much for staying with us here at Street Now News. We're coming right on back with you shortly with more information from last night.
Good morning, it's Terry Dwayne Ashford. We're coming in at 5.59 a.m. on March 1st, and the day is Monday. Monday, happy Monday, everyone. This particular part of our production is not alive and is the voice of Terry Dwayne Ashford. We are reporting two incidents of uh, the last evening that we refrain from reporting. Suspicion of fraudulent activity. Incident number one from last night was a man jumping the fence of a house near the vicinity of Terry Dwayne Ashford. Incident number two, a Russian two-tone modeled older sedan Lexus rushing upon in the car seat that guy upon waking at 5.52 a.m. this morning and went specifically down to trail in a rush behind cars as if he was carrying out some type of activity or crime that was to be framed. That particular report is coming back to you. We're going to have more, part two of this, uh, giving you the reports from last night, February the 28th into March 1st, as we close out uh, in a few short moments. This particular part one for today. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford Street Now News. We're jumping right back into what we've learned about our reporting. And this is it right here. As you know, Street Now News journalist Jet Terry Dwayne Ashford arrived in Washington, D.C. at the ending of his career or his journalism degree from Georgia State University. One of the reasons for arriving here was to investigate and to embed the diversity of Washington, D.C., which was then Chocolate City, into his reporting skill set. And when he did that, what we were able to find was not only the beauty of diversity, but also the problems of diversity. One of the problems we were able to recognize was the trading processes in place when diversity was as high as that we found in the chocolate city, Washington, D.C. The trading that affected police work, ethics, money, and everything else in the society and the culture. And that brings more reporting for Street Now News. What we were able to see and see and recognize was everything changed. The scheme and the canvas changed. Things became more clear. One of the biggest, I'm going to say, hugest changes that we were able to see was the change in sexuality. Who was gay and who was straight? And for whom would you be gay for? And for whom were you not? For whom were you hiding and to whom were you showing your true self? From Street Now News, I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. I'm bringing this report to you on February 28th, the night of Sunday, Sunday night. The time is now 9.34. We're reporting this for you in lieu of what we found of the journalist himself who came here for a career due to the, uh, the exchange and the trading processes in place regarding diversity itself. Diversity. Diversity, the same diversity that traded the land and the continent of Africa. I'm Terry Dwayne Ash, but we're going to close out right now. I'm going to come right back in part two and give you the reports that led into today. I'm him in the car. See that guy, Street Now News, all for you. Yeah, I'm